is my welcome back to the shop and uh, we're going to do the difference between speed versus velocity um, someone asked me this God, months ago and then uh, quite a few people have asked since um, because it's not that quite it's not obvious so what we'll do is we'll chuck out the uh, classical physics bit of it first so speed equals distance over time and velocity equals displacement over time so basically all we're doing is we're going from childish English you do at primary school to the big capital letters that you do at secondary school <laughs> um, but even when you write this out a lot of people don't get this because this is distance and this is displacement and a lot of people don't understand what is the difference between the two not much but it is important um, Basically, the difference is is that speed here is what we call scalar. Another example of something scalar is a scale or a ruler, something like that. Um, and to compare it to something else, we can just use like I don't know one centimeter, right? One centimeter is a distance, but it has no direction. It has nothing. You can have one centimeter in bloody any direction you want to you can just wave one centimeter or a meter wherever you want it doesn't it, in there there is no or there doesn't have to be attached to that a direction or what we call a vector which is what velocity is so velocities have to have the, uh, vectors and so do displacements um, if we're going to get geeky about it you can have a graph and before you shit yourself it, graphs are simple they're really easy if you go from here to here like that at just say 10 meters per second this is a velocity why because we have an xy here we have an xy coordinate system we can say that this is x0 and this is y20 and we can say this is x30 why I don't know fucking what's that 27 uh, so there we have a vector we can actually assign a direction a lot of the um, textbooks and stuff will say oh east but no one writes east when they do their equations and stuff you do have to basically what you have to do is you have to plug in the numbers for these very simple equations to make sense why does this even matter why do we have the two why do we have this scalar quantity and this vector quantity when you come to uh, just work out just say going around the corner you've got a straight section here and then you've got a, a, a 90 degree bend here and then we've got a straight bit here so we'll call this you know this is our zero point this is our start not only do these have x y's uh, x and y's on a flat plane um, for displacement and all the rest of it but things change here so this is a this is a linear velocity this is an angular velocity and again this is another linear one but each point so your start point has to have an xy coordinate system then when we get to here then basically we've got a direction so we know where our xy is here and then for this we have a radius we have a radius when we work out angular velocities so then if you follow that angular velocity all the way around to 90 degrees then you automatically know where this is because it's this displacement from here in this direction in this vector here and then from there you can basically work everything out because you've got a radius here and then you've got your linear direction here because you've got degrees and you've got everything chucked in with speed <laughs> Um, it's 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 a scalar quantity so basically you go around this entire corner and it's how long this is a distance this is a distance here and we'll just say this is one kilometer and it's like well how long did this take you to do this you say oh it took fucking 15 seconds and that's ridiculous but you get what I mean it took 15 seconds so then with that it's an average it's not telling you throughout the points where everything is um 
you can that's not saying you can't just stop there or have a speed gun there and work out your speed but the speeds are like i say the scaler it's it's such a hard thing to describe in a sim i'm trying to think of a simple way you can always just point back to the equations and say distance and displacement in a sense you can have an average speed so you can say i got from here to here and it took you so long but that's not saying how you slow down and sped up and slow down and sped up and then that fucking traffic jam and that roundabout and all the rest of it in a sense speed that's why we have it in cars and bikes and all the rest of it on your speedo because that is just giving you if you continue at this rate you will cover this amount of mileage blah 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 vectors and meters per second stuff like the velocities are used for the calculation side of things that's the best way you can chuck speed into calculations and all the rest of it but um it's basically not that precise and what have you so speed is like i say it's a scale thing it's like meters meters it doesn't it has no um coordinate system based around it where vectors and velocity because velocity is a vector it has to have that quantity to it um when we're working out stuff like um you know displacement just say like con rods and all the rest of it if you look at um uh, when people talk about average piston speed in a sense saying average is all is almost obsolete because your average piston speed will be like this and from that you'll say oh it's 30 meters per second but that's the average of it your peak it doesn't tell you anything about the accelerations and the actual velocity anywhere on this curve hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit